If you're an investor like Snowfire and Yvonne, and you already own stock, but you want to earn more money on that stock, you can use an option strategy to earn additional money. In Snowfire and Yvonne's case, you can sell call options. So let's take a look. A call option is an option contract in which the holder, or buyer, has the right, but not the obligation, to buy a specified quantity of a security at a specified price called the strike price within a fixed period of time or until the option expires. For the writer, or the seller of a call option, it represents an obligation to sell the underlying security at the strike price if the option is exercised. The call option writer or seller is paid a premium for taking on the risk associated with the obligation. In this case, the short call is covered if the call option writer owns the obligated quantity of the underlying security. The covered call is a popular option strategy that enables the stock owner to generate additional income from their stock holdings through the periodic selling of call options. So let's take a look at a simple example. So for this example, I'm going to use again MarketWatch since real-time quotes does not have the option chain. And I'm not sure exactly what uh, Snowfire or Yvonne owns. So I'm going to use Apple. Symbol is AAPL, and for disclosure purposes, I do not own any Apple at this time. Currently, the close uh, on Friday was 224.29, and we're looking at the all-data monthly chart on Apple. And looking here, the best time to sell a call option, covered call option, is at the peak of a cycle, whether it's a daily, weekly, or monthly but preferably the longer term. So looking at this monthly chart here, in my opinion, Apple is relatively elevated and there's a possibility that it's going to come on down. So let's go back into history. And if you look at the MACD, you can see, say back here in mid 2012, it hit a peak and then bottomed here in mid 2013. At this point, mid 2015, it hit a peak and then the bottom was in 2016, roughly a year later. So it looks like from peak to trough is about a year. So let's say that I'm correct and we're at a peak here in Apple. So I'm going to say a year. So let's take a look at the options a year out from today. Hit the option chain. Let it load. It's going to load October. We don't want to look at that. So we'll click that. And we'll look down here, and you can see that there really isn't anything that is exactly a year out. So let's try for the January 2020. That's the closest we can get, at least through here. Move on down. Once again, the calls are on the left and the puts are on the right. So we're just going to deal here with the calls. And these uh, columns here, the symbol, you click on that, you'll get the symbol. And then these columns, this is the last price of the day. This is the change from the prior day. $5.50 was the change from the day before. The volume on this given day was one contract or essentially 100. Remember, a contract is 100 shares. And the bid was 173.30. The ask was 179.10. And the open interest is 12 contracts. So let's move on down. Looking right here, the close again is at 224.29. So let's just say that you want to uh, take a look at the strike price of $240. You want to put the strike price a little bit above your recent close just for a cushion. You can pick any price in here that you want, and you can actually go below here if you wanted. But I'm just going to pick this one simple uh, strike price of 240. So the last price 
was $21.85. And you can see that from the prior day, it was a, a change of a buck 25. The day before was a little bit better priced. And then there's a volume of 115 contracts that went on that day with the bid ask from 1955 up to 2345 and the open interest is 5582 contracts so if you sold the 240 strike price calls as of january 2020 which is a year and a few months you would collect a premium of $21.85 and if you calculate that out on an annual basis as long as the stock is not called away from you, you would make roughly uh, 7 8% perhaps uh, on an annualized basis while you simply waited. Now, if you went down here further to say 2383 with a strike price of 235 or a strike price of 230, which was paying $25.80, you're going to make some more money. So if you're good at the cycles, you can make extra money. And of course, the risk is that you get your stock called away from you because you have the obligation to deliver that stock when you sell a call option. But simply put, you can buy that stock back or another stock right back and do it again. So there's the advantage of selling call options while you're waiting for markets to recover or if you feel you're at a peak in the market and it's going to head down it's just another way of making additional income so for today that's chew dog charts thank you